Welcome to the my-moo.com podcast. My-moo.com is your source for information on James Churchward and his theories of the lost continent of Moo. August 2008, update on the Great Uyghur Empire Research. In a January 2008 blog entry entitled Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, Toxin Myotypic and Mu, Part 1, I related that I was in contact with individuals that could provide information concerning the ever-elusive Great Uyghur Empire. I have not heard back from them since. I also sent an email to Sinan Maiden, the Turkish author of Books on Mu. However, I haven't heard back from him either. On the other hand, I have been contacted by others with some different avenues of research to follow. First, a person emailed me the names of some scholars that have been engaged in research along the lines of the Great Uyghur Empire. And secondly, other people have sent me pictures from Google Earth and some ground-level photographs to indicate that evidence for the Great Uyghur Empire exists around Xi'an, China, and the Orkhon Valley in Mongolia. After a little digging, I have been able to find out a little bit more about this list of scholars. Allow me to apologize in advance if I butcher these names. I have never heard them spoken and can only guess at the correct pronunciation. Dr. Kazim Mirsan was born in Gulja, or Ili as the Chinese call it, and he theorizes that the Orkin inscriptions in Mongolia date from the 5th century BC instead of the commonly accepted 8th century AD. He has quite a few books published and some even in English. Polit Kaya has his own website and Yahoo group. His research consists of studying the relationship between Turkish and Indo-European languages. Mr. Kaya also explains that Turkish was the universally spoken language as far back as the middle of the first millennium B.C. Turgay Kurum postulates that the Latin and Cyrillic alphabets originated from runic writing, which was started by the Gokturk Empire. I was unable to find English language sources for Turgay Turfefci, so I am unaware of his theories. One of the common threads that I have discovered other than they, all these researchers approach the topic using linguistics, is that each mentions or alludes to a bias against their theories, specifically a bias from Western Europeans against even discussing their ideas. Since we have been inviting comment and discussion on the Great Uyghur Empire as envisioned by James Churchward for almost two years, they must have overlooked our offer to contribute We extend an offer to these researchers to present their theories in English on our web pages or through the Great Uyghur Empire mailing list. Also, we extend an invitation for them to present their theories via Skype interview. Another point was brought up in an email I received from Mr. Polat Kaya. According to his research, the Uyghurs are Turks and not Aryans as postulated by my great-grandfather. Now, I do not know enough about the aforementioned author's theories to defend or discuss them in an intelligent manner. However, I have researched Uyghur and Inner Asian history. In the coming days, I will provide a short bibliography on our blog that should satisfy the most rigorous skeptic that the 8th century Uyghur Empire, or Uyghur Khaganate, in what is now known as Mongolia, did in fact exist. These podcasts will be created on an irregular basis and address the state of the research, host interviews with knowledgeable people, and challenge the status quo to arrive at a more complete understanding of James Churchward and his theories of a lost Pacific Ocean continent. Please check back frequently at my-moo.com or join our email list to keep up to date on our progress and join the discussion. This production, copyright 2008 by Churchwarden Company, all rights reserved. Thanks for listening, and have a great day.